other delegates thank you very much for being with us today so we are having uh, 16th paper tech and i welcome full heartedly for this uh, paper tech uh, opening session brief about the paper uh, industry and its uh, journey it is the fifth largest industry and the consumer of uh, paper in the world 4% of the world paper production is coming installed capacity is more than 24 million tons per capita consumption is very very less in india it is 15.75 kg significantly it is lower as compared to the global standards that clearly indicates that we have a lot of uh, potential and the industry is highly fragmented and uh, very diversified very challenges very much uh, challenging situation and the paper industry even though it is using uh, water and uh, energy to a large extent now a lot of uh, technologies are uh, coming up to address these issues and uh, thank to thanks to those uh, technologies which are helping us for the sustainability of uh, paper industry if we look at uh, the demand drivers definitely there are significant factors like rising income and per capita expenditure then uptrend in the literacy level it is going up as it is shown in the trend and also the government initiatives to ban plastic at least to some of the portions of plastic it is banned now it is not sufficient to address the current uh, environmental uh, situation but even then it is a good beginning and uh, it is opening up lot of opportunities for the paper industry to take care of uh, those environmental issues and increasing uh, preference for ready to eat foods food grade industry is also developing apart from that lot of uh, avenues are opening up for paper industry packaging industry board and everything they are growing now and definitely there is a good future for paper industry but at the same time we are having a lot of challenges maybe because of the recent pandemic and also the after ukraine war and still that is continuing the energy is becoming a very very threatening area and we all know that the energy cost has not only it has doubled now it has tripled the coal is not at all available the price is uh, rising every day in this situation there is uh, a need to switch over and globally we have certain uh, targets to achieve net zero also that is also a good uh, initiative taken by the government and also there are some commitments at the national as well as the global level even in uh, copenhagen uh, meet also we have committed and we have lot of responsibilities not only in paper industry in all the industries definitely there will be a reduction in uh, coal consumption as well as uh, the oil consumption by 18% and uh, 15% there will be a reduction by 2030 and there will be definitely an increase in electricity source as well as bio energy particularly the solar and the wind energy resources it is gaining lot of momentum lot of investment is being made and the government is also following up for this just i want to remind here that this decade particularly 2021 2030 uh, you all know that it is considered as a decade of restoration for environmental stability so whatever efforts we are making in this line definitely it is a good move for paper industry and in spite of all these crises and all the trend shows that 
there will be a growth of about 16% in paper industry in this net zero period up to 2030. Even though the India has taken a target of net zero by 2070, most of the countries have taken the target by 2050. So Indian paper industry challenges are mainly in the quality and the cost, competitiveness, raw material availability, everybody is facing the same issue increasing operating costs particularly because of this fuel and the logistics the international competition because of the volumes water availability most of the indian paper industries particularly in uh, some of the areas there is a threat and uh, water is not at all available particularly in uh, summer seasons and believe me in some of the mills, the treated water is better than the river intake water. That is the situation. Even we have seen in uh, TNPL as well as in uh, SPB also. That is the situation of uh, water. Of course, environmental regulations and uh, this energy scenario which is uh, changing every day and which is uh, forcing us to go for bioenergy. These are all the challenges with respect to the technology as well as the investment part. So the lot of opportunities as I mentioned and it will support uh, climate uh, change, what are the requirements, what are the technologies coming in the national as well as in the global uh, industries. Paper sector can also play a vital role in achieving the climate goals. It is helping in uh, circular economy and uh, resource efficiency, helping in uh, reducing the production cost and the fuel uh, dependency and partnership with many stakeholders. One important uh, topic uh, here I have want to mention here is decarbonization requirement. The particularly when the paper industries are going for green coal, one of the major uh, agenda of uh, green coal is to address GHG emissions, carbon uh, decarbonization practices, energy efficiency measures. Based on that only the evaluation is done for the energy efficiency units. And it will assess the low carbon uh, future energy cost. We are taking a target of 20 to 25 percent in the manufacturing cost. Needed to decarbonize and increase the energy efficiency while remaining competitive. GHG emission is a must for every industry to achieve the targets of uh, net zero. And only the few paper industries are now carbon positive. Those ever are involved in the major plantation and the latest technology to take care of these carbon emissions are able to do this uh, decarbonization. Whereas the small industries, they still have lot of limitations as well as the constraints to achieve this uh, decarbonization standard and we need to focus on uh, medium size as well as uh, large scale industries for energy efficiency improvement.